Welcome to RidingAlone.com. Today's episode is going to be on should you hire a ghostwriter or write your book on your own. Uh, straight away, it really just depends on your intention. I primarily think if you are planning to tell a story that's pretty unique to you, if you're already comfortable with the idea of owning your own identity and uh, your brand and you're not really going the commercialization route, write your own book. It's, it's pretty simple. If you're part of a brand, right, if you represent something, if you represent other people's interests, hire a ghostwriter, okay? They, they probably can take better care of certain details that otherwise uh, probably shouldn't be left to you uh, because your name at that point isn't just representing uh, your own personal opinions and thoughts. Your, your name is actually uh, branded for uh, something larger than yourself, something that you don't exactly have full autonomy over. So that's a place, an interesting place to be. If you're there, most likely you probably... Uh, achieve a certain trade-off that you thought was worth the value, right? Uh, either monetarily, you got a good compensation package, uh, whether it's paid out to you monthly or or you own an empire. I mean, it just might be that simple. In that case, again, it's a lot of effort, and especially if you're not interested in the literary world to begin with. But, you know, it'd be kind of cool to have a book to your name. Go hire a ghostwriter. Maybe that's controversial, right? But, I mean, come on. If you don't like, if you don't like writing, if you don't like the idea of calling yourself a writer... Uh, but people are telling you to get a book out. And most likely, again, if you're at that point, you can afford it. Just go looking. Go window, go window shopping for ghostwriters. Uh, ask your friends who have also released books. And again, if you're at that point, you probably have a decent network of people who have done similar things or at least know where to start. If writing is something that you're kind of drawn to naturally to begin with, that's when we really start entering into the world of uh, writing your own book for your own purposes, for your own uh, intention and self-expression. It, it, it's less of a business at this point. It's not really a, a business choice at all. Okay, at this point, we are not really looking specifically just for uh, monetary success. Yeah, you want to pay the bills, but uh, more than anything, you, you just want to get something out there, something real, a personal experience or, or many all combined into one combined book. Uh, so this is literary work. You can get out there, put up to the world, sell it, go on book tours, that kind of stuff. Or some, something you would be satisfied just knowing that it exists, that it's done. Write your own book. Okay, there's a clear distinction there. And what I want to say too is if you're experiencing some kind of hiccups while you're doing, trying to anyways, and you feel like it's just kind of impossible to move past those points. I, Oh, you're not feeling inspired. I can't stay motivated. All these things. I have tons of videos on them. But if you're stuck at those places, no, that's not the place where you stop and throw up your hands and say, okay, time to hire a ghostwriter. No, there's a very specific place for those, uh, for those people. It's a very lucrative career for those who are involved there. And that's not the option that you have to resort to, okay? Most likely, that writer is still in here and is just waiting for uh, some kind of guidance, some kind of advice. Uh, a lot of writing is... Again, just pass down thoughts, pass down traditions and habits. And you know the hallmark of someone giving the advice if they're not just reading off flashcards, okay? It's it's something that kind of comes naturally. You can see it in the eyes. It's just it's excitement about the literary craft. And with that, make the distinction for yourself, okay? If you're struggling to decide right now, don't just hop on the ghostwriter train just because it's easy. You might ruin your literary life before it even begins if your first work isn't something that isn't actually defined and uh, representing autonomy that you yourself are capable and hold in your own name, in your own power, in your own control. Power, control, all those words. Uh, there's so many meanings that people attach to them. I, I don't necessarily mean uh, like you're the dictator of some group or you're some cult leader. I mean more like what you like to convey, what you want to portray about you and your own thoughts and your own brain, if the idea of having control over that is appealing, okay? If you live a life where you don't really like to be controlled, you don't like to be uh, just shoved into places or uh, you don't just want all this stuff slapped on top of you that doesn't really reflect the person you want to represent. If, if you, you don't like people to do that for you and you're a I create my own identity kind of person, good for you. <laughs> like, not dismissively, I mean legitimately, good for you. Uh, writing a book on your own is what you want to do. 
without a question. There's not a doubt in my mind when it comes to that. Uh, some of the benefits of ghostwriting, again, are pay and be done with it. You can skip. You don't even have to read your own book. Okay, you can just get someone who has some credibility, maybe not even a lot, but you just know they've done it before, and uh, they can get something pretty nice out there for the for you for the world. And that's it. That's all you got to worry about. Then most likely you'll pay your marketers after, and they'll, they'll take care of it. When you do the ghostwriter thing, it's not really a part of your life, which is kind of funny because it has your name on it, but it's detached. Most likely a lot of other things you do with your name, with your brand are already kind of detached. So it's okay. You know, it's not something new and you better be making some pretty decent money off of what you get ghostwritten for you because you're not just doing it to not just to reach people. There's not a very specific message you're trying to convey. Because if there was, you would be in control of it completely. Or you have a different avenue already that gets the job done for you a lot better. I'm thinking, uh, let's say, there's a lot of people who are going to be watching this uh, from different backgrounds. I, I don't know. It doesn't mean you're going to comment and I know who you are, but I know you will be watching it. And let's say you have a pretty decent sized influence in the world of media and such. And your name is out there. People know you. But you're famous for something else, okay? Uh, you could be an athlete, really pro level or, or just somewhere beneath that, just beneath that, you know. Uh, you could be a, a musician and I don't mean you're a, a worldwide rock star, okay? You might be, but let's say you're not, but you know, relatively known. You're already self-expressing. You know, it, it's something that is already natural to you. It's something you already do. Actors have this going for them too. Okay, people already know them for certain things. It's not like they're just you know, wandering on by and think, oh, let me have a book. I want a book to say, hey, I, I have one. That's it. That's all there is to, you know, like, no, these people are attaching something to their own empire, to their own identity that is controlled by your management company or something given that option it's pretty clear which one you're going to choose okay don't write it yourself you're going to be wasting your time you're going to be wasting a lot of other people's time if you're not wanting to do it already on your own. don't force yourself to is what i'm saying now if you put out a book that's just nonsense okay that's just drivel that's just something that you felt um obligated to do but you weren't really enthusiastic about it you didn't really believe in it uh some it's something's gonna come around you all right i, I don't mean um you're gonna die and you're gonna get struck by lightning okay but writing is a pretty deep tradition it goes back centuries it's a pretty common thing i talk about here and if you just try to jump in the game without any sort of real understanding of that law of reciprocation at work here okay it, it's not just this uh this spirituality thing okay it's not just oh the, the universe will do this th no like it's you're gonna get some blowback from that and it's not gonna feel very great okay so be very wary if you're venturing into writing your own book it's not something to be taken very lightly i don't say this often but if you're not really about it okay if you're not really feeling it, if it's not a burning desire in you that's just uh, re reaching to the, the sky, beyond the sky, reaching being beyond the stars, it's it's just bursting from you. And it's waiting, and you, you don't always have the resources to really uh, aim it in a certain direction, but if, if you feel that, you got it, okay? Write your, you can write it on your own. If not, if it's just, I don't know, I, I guess it'd be cool to have a book. Now, someone approached me with the idea that I should have a book out there but I don't really care. Do yourself a favor. Do the world a favor. Don't write your book. If you need it, okay, if your management company is just coming down on you, there's a demand for it, but you don't care, uh, reconsider a lot of things in your life, but, okay, just do the ghostwriter thing. And don't even bother going to the page if it's not something authentic, if it's not something that's true to you and is 
uh, without a doubt, real. Don't pollute the writing world, okay? There's plenty of other better things you can do. And you'd be putting yourself at a very awkward place in your life, okay? Because you don't just undo a book, okay? You don't control Z it. And there's no shame in putting something out there that, you know, you grow from, especially if you're writing your own. You're going to have a couple books behind you, and there's going to be a year attached to them when you release them, the age where you're adding life. All that stuff matters, which is exactly my point. It's associated. It's intrinsically linked. Whereas ghostwritten book is detached, just like everything else. The people are already expecting that. Okay? They're already expecting something that's kind of controlled and fed for them. They, they're not coming for you. They're coming for what uh, you represent. But if you're an artist in another sense and, you know, you're known for really the person that is attached to your name. There's no middleman, right? It's just your audience is getting directly the real you. And you feel pretty comfortable expressing yourself in other ways. Maybe you just do speaking events, okay? Maybe you're a musician, maybe you're an actor, all this stuff. I keep doing that. A book is going to divert you from that. And it's not worth it, okay? You're not going to tell a uh, star Olympic athlete to, oh, you should take a violin lessons. Why? They could if they really wanted, again, if they wanted, but it, it's just going to divert their attention from what they're already good at from what, in a sense, they were born to do. And maybe one day down in their life, they want to dedicate themselves to that. Then that's the time. But not simultaneously. Okay? The whole writer thing is, it's not just something to be uh, marginalized. But yourself, you're not to be marginalized. Okay? You are, you, one watching, right? You're to be taken seriously. So, Treat writing seriously, too. Doesn't mean all your topics have to be about, uh, say, some pretty interesting stuff. You know, fill in the blanks, okay? I, I would get um, banned from YouTube or something if I said what I was really thinking. <laughs> yeah. uh, as examples of what's serious. And your content doesn't have to be about that, okay? What you're writing about doesn't have to be about that. It can be about uh, just the silly stuff, okay? Or stuff you, you don't even think. Do people think this is important? doesn't matter okay but you're going to treat the craft correctly and you're going to treat it respectfully and you're going to give it a part of yourself there's no uh, cheating or there's no secrets there's no uh, shortcuts around this all right you, you gotta give up a part of your being within you and you have to have such a, a surplus of thoughts of identity just coming out of you to the point where you can say, yeah, I can write a book and I, I can give a lot of myself and I have a ton left over. I mean, I have, again, writing is for, technically, I say it's for people who have a large personalities that don't always uh, speak them outwardly. It's, some of you might relate with that. I think a lot of you will. And if you're trying to write a book, okay, check out How to Write a Book in 30 Days, 10 part guide. Uh, Forget how many pages it is, all right? It's, it's going to help you. It's just, it's what you need if you don't know where to begin. It. It's what I wish I had when I was starting out because there's not really a lot, a lot of advice out there, okay? So writingalone.com, check it out, grab your copy, and I'll see you around. I'll see you in the next episode.